Like, I've seen uh, an MMA fighter called John Give Joe. this man an ace. Um, he um, <laughs> he used like to what? deliberately go out and party yeah. the week like before it. his fight on just chance. so he had an excuse. You know? Right, yeah, so it's not always that. Yeah. That's why I lost. Yeah. yeah, but everyone likes a reason that they lost, but... Mm. But I, I think that's so important in sports like that, and especially poker, because technical proficiency is very, very close mm. in terms of edge. Like, right at the elite level, players are all, you know, very, very, very good. So to find an edge in your mental game or your mental strength in that, and it can really, if it improves your cup 5%, then all of a sudden you do start competing with the best so people, rather than being a, lot know, of a people top 100 guy. A lot of people in poker, I've noticed, play their best poker when they're almost about to go out. Right. Why is that? Because they have to, yeah. and, they, and, they, and it's not a case of, they, they, they can't bullshit themselves, they can't fuck around, and it brings the best out in them. And I believe, like, when you back yourself into a corner, <laughs> like with me with YouTube, I literally was in a position where it was, I either was going to be yeah. huge or it was fucked. Yeah. And I would have had no money in the bank, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think there's, there's something in putting pressure on yourself. It's the same with me, because I, I, I played poker full time. I played for four years before <clears> I did any streaming or anything like that. Mm. And then that sort of came to an end for me where I'd fallen out of love with it and I wasn't doing as well as I was because my heart wasn't in it. And I thought, what I do love is streaming and entertaining and things like that. But I had enough money from poker that I probably had nine months where I could stream. And if it didn't work, that was it. I was, uh, yeah. I, so that nine months was probably some of the best stuff I ever did. Absolutely. And it was for the smallest audience for no money. All in. But if All in. I didn't make it stick. All in. You've got to be kidding. Oh, shit. Oh, I've got nothing left. Oh. <laughs> God, laugh, he left. What's happening? So this is a situation he where he's it. bluffing. He's one of the sickest human beings I've ever met. Uh, but people tend not to bluff in this spot, ever. Um, Twenty-five, two, four, five, seven behind. If you're bluffing, you are one of the sickest humans I've ever met. But I can't imagine a human would. A human. I've got a. I've got the jack of diamonds. If anyone's curious. Look at me, human. <laughs> a jack of diamonds. I'd have gone in all day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but the, obviously. <laughs> please show a bluff. Please. If you, please, please you bluff. Please you want to pick, show... pick a card? No, it's fine. Pick a card. Show anyway. us the card. I, I feel like you would have shown a bluff by now. Yeah, you would have. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Right. Nice, oh, hand, nice, nice hand. Nice hand. Nice hand. 